Comptroller Kenneth Mejia issuing a warning about the city's financial health, saying it's not looking good and the people of Los Angeles will suffer based on the decision City Hall makes. This is L.A. faces a projected budget deficit of $476 million, $289 million of which comes from overspending. L.A. City Controller Kenneth Mejia, he joins us now with more. Uh, sir, it's good to have you with us tonight. Thanks for taking the time out. You are sounding the alarm about the state of L.A. City finances. You say, though, that the city saw this coming. How so? So every year around March, my office does a revenue forecast. And so we actually forecasted the amount of general fund revenues would be uh, lower than what was projected uh, compared to what the CAO, the mayor, and the city council ultimately approved uh, during last year for this fiscal year's budget. So that's number one. Um, uh, number two, we also said, too, that depending on, on labor agreements that we approve, um, this can be a, a real damp on our, our city's budget, and which is exactly what we, we first saw, $289 million in overspending and $187 million in less than expected revenues as well. Uh, what's what's uh, going on in your Zoom background? <laughs> so my background, I'm a numbers person, but it is the city's budget, our, our general budget. It's $13.1 billion for this current fiscal year. Okay, so so of all the overspending, what do you think is most concerning? I mean, so if you look at the uh, CAO's office's report, and I'll just list out, you know, the, the top areas of overspending. So you have it there, too. $105 million is police, um, mainly because of the new uh, labor contract, liability claims, which is $92 million, fire, $51 million, and so forth. And so, you know, when it comes to this, this overspending, what we're seeing is, a lot of other departments now are having their positions that they've been trying to fill frozen now. And now the uh, CEO's office has recommended cutting 2,000 potential vacant positions in this upcoming fiscal year, which starts on July 1st. So that's very concerning because of, you know, if, you, if people know our services in the city of LA is not enough and we need more. Let's talk specifically about the homeless problem. You know, you've actually audited already the shelter beds and interim housing data. What did you find? Yeah, so for the interim housing data, we found that there are over 46,000 unhoused people in the city of LA. There are only 16,100 shelter beds. We also found, too, that it is very, very difficult for anyone who's unhoused uh, to find a place, uh, a shelter bed in the city of LA, just because the data isn't there, it's not complete, there's not a website that can be used. And so our office actually created a demo map of something that can be used um, to actually help people get into housing uh, faster or shelter faster. And that's what one of our audits found. Yeah, because right now, the city really has no idea how many people are actually homeless, except for that one-time homeless count, um, and have really very limited ways of tracking what happens to people even once they get into the system. So um, you're, you're in the process of auditing Inside Safe, which is Mayor Bass's program, largely to take people off the streets and put them into motels, hotels, try to get them into permanent supportive housing. What are you finding as you look at the numbers of that? So we have just um, started and have just, um, you know, contacted uh, just last week with the mayor's team about our, our audit scope and have a, an intro meeting with them to discuss. So we're still at the early, early phases. But I just want people to know is that, um, you know, I, like the mayor, we agree that homelessness is a humanitarian crisis and it's probably the number one issue across L.A. But what we want to do is bring more transparency and provide any recommendations if needed on the program, especially if they do use a substantial amount of funds. How far apart are you, uh, do you think, you, your office, and the mayor when it comes to balancing the budget? Um, we don't know yet. The, uh, the mayor's budget is releasing on um, April 20th, but that's a Saturday, so the 22nd. So we'll, we will just have to see. Um, like I said, every March I give our offices revenue forecast. So we're hoping that the, um, the mayor and the council and the CEO's office uh, really look into our numbers um, again for the revenue. And so we'll just have to wait. But once that does drop, I'd be happy more to talk about the details of the budget. All right. Well, we hope to see you back here then. L.A. City Controller Kenneth Mejia, thanks for taking time with us tonight. Great to talk with you. Likewise. Take care.